What's going on everybody? Good morning and welcome to another day. Now, I know I haven't posted in quite a bit of time. Uh, I think the last one I did was the hot sauce challenge. And I actually filmed that and I did the uh, waxing challenge all in the same day. That was some painful stuff. It hurt the day after. But I haven't been posting for a while. I've been trying to sit there and get things situated on the other end, um, trying to find a job and all that, being unemployed and all that bullshit. And, uh, well, I'm about to be ready to head out. I have to jump in the shower real quick. And, uh, yeah, let's get this shit started. <laughs> So I'm back. I had to take a little bit longer than before. So I had to jump in the shower. Because it takes a lot to look this damn good. I got the dope Marvel superhero shirt on. I got my Yeezys. Check those bad boys out. I don't know if you can see it in the light. Yeah. No, just kidding. Those aren't Yeezys. I got those actually at uh, Goodwill for like a dollar or something. That's how I roll. Goodwill, you good for life. All right. So it's another ugly ass day out here in Chicago. Check that out. It just rained. A little bit earlier today that's why, I, that's why I'm going out right now because it is nice out so it's supposed to get to like heat index of like 105 or something like that check out the ride yeah I know I need air in the tire and yes I know they did that in the side of the car but we're going to the store. We need to pick up some stuff. Alright. So, last night, actually, let me talk, tell you this story. So, last night I was thinking to myself, okay, I'm going to do a 3 a.m. challenge. I thought, you know what, everybody's doing the Surrey thing. Why not give it a shot? So, believe it or not, I stood up that late. And I came to the conclusion before I did it, I didn't want to do a 3 a.m. challenge. You know? I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not hating, you know, whatever. But that whole Siri thing, is it's getting lame. How many more Siri things can we do out there in YouTube land? Seriously. It is getting too old too quick. And literally, I had this whole thing planned out, and I was ready to do it, and just, I was like, you know what, I just, it's keep, it's getting played out now. It's kind of like a, a song that's getting been played over and over and over again. I mean, there's a lot of good 3 a.m. challenges out there. I know IMJ Station does a lot, and uh, his are, you know, unique. They're different. You know, you, you don't see that out there. And I know Mosarji and Omar Gasha are the ones who created the 3 a.m. challenge. And I like the 3 a.m. challenges. Don't get me wrong. It's just the whole Siri thing is getting like, a little played. So I decided not to do that. And I decided, you know what, just wake up this morning and go ahead and just vlog. And, you know, I, I, I'm i going to start vlogging in the mornings, you know, maybe go for a little walk in the morning and vlog and just kind of have time to myself. Um, I don't really get a whole lot of time to myself, uh, except when I sleep. Um, but I mean, and the reason being that I don't is because, you know, I'm home, I'm unemployed, you know, go figure. I, I, I get my freaking bachelor's degree, 42 years old. I get my bachelor's degree just to sit there and have my comp, the company I'm working for go under 
And now it seems like no one wants anybody with a freaking bachelor's degree. What was the point of getting that? Spending $50,000 education at 42 years of age for what? And no one is fucking hiring out there. Part of my language. I'm pretty pissed. Because I feel like I wasted that education. I wasted my time. The time I could have been using with my family. I sat there and spent it on this education that is getting me nowhere. So for all you who are planning on going to college. Think about where you're going to go. What you're going to do. What type of degree. Because... This world is becoming very cruel, and it is going to eat you up and spit you out quicker than shit. So, be careful what type of degree you get. So, anyways, I'm going to head to the store. I have to pick up a couple items. I'm probably just really bitchy right now, because in ranting and raving and being a pissy, because I haven't had my coffee yet. And I do need my coffee in the morning to kind of get me going. Um, I do have, a, like, I have severe anxiety. I know a lot of people talk about they have ADD or whatever there on YouTube. Uh, I know Mosarji uh, talked about that, um, that he did. But I, got, I have severe anxiety, so I take what my wife likes to call the happy pill for my anxiety. Because it gets really bad. Um, but my happy pill is not really making me happy today. So probably because I haven't had my coffee. Or because I'm hangry. I don't know. Maybe I'll buy a Snickers bar and see if that works. Who knows? But let me get this shit going. Um, you'll notice, too, that I'm really not as PG this time around because I'm tired of not being me. I'm tired of not being who I am. And, you know, I'm Italian. I freaking, I freaking talk with my hands. And I freaking, you know, I swear... And I try not to swear too much around my kids because I don't want them picking that shit up. But, you know, eh, whatever. I, I, I try. But uh, we're going to pick this up. I'm going to get to the store because I don't want to drive and vlog at the same time because I don't want to die today. So we're going to pick it up right there in just a few. So, yeah, I'm about to head into Jewel. I uh, just have to get some stuff to drink for my wife because I'm a good husband I want to make sure she has stuff to drink and then also I need sugar for my coffee and I'll use the real sugar I like to use uh, the good stuff for the body uh, stevia so this place has it so I'm gonna go there and pick up a little box so I have some sugar for my coffee um, but yeah uh, that's basically what I'm doing today um, I'm not getting all crazy and doing all that other stuff um, like Throw, like throwing shit in the store or anything like that like that's what other people do that's them I'm 42 years old and I'm lucky enough that I have people who actually view my shit but uh hey thank you to all of you that do um not sure if I'm gonna do another challenge or not uh been trying to think about what it is I want to do um what fits well with me and you know who I am but, uh, yeah, I just want to be able to make good content for everybody to view. And, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do my best. You know, I know a lot has already been done. And I'm trying not to repeat what people are doing. But sometimes I am doing stuff that people have already done. And, you know, it, it's, it's really tough starting off to do YouTube. You know, I sat there. But I, I'm going to keep doing it because, hey... I got my degree at age 42. I can sit there and do this. Um, I know it's gonna it's gonna be challenging, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna really try to make this shit work. And uh, you know, I know my son's. He's having a blast. He uh, loves doing this stuff. He loves YouTubing. And uh, you know, it, it's kind of become fun. You know, being able to talk to everybody and be able to do what we got to do. Yeah. It's it's fun, and uh, I know it's going to take some time to have all of you fall in love with me and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the post notifications and, you know, like what I do, hint, hint, um, but yeah, go ahead and do all that that I just said, and uh, yeah, we can be friends, so I'm about to run in here, uh, go get some stuff and uh shouldn't be too long unless they only have like one person working at the register 
but I will be back with you soon. Thousand years later. All right, so I'm back. So I picked up Pepsi. You see back there, and then I got this shit. Now it's like stevia type sweetener. Check this shit out. Now, if you ask me what ingredients are in it, don't ask because hopefully it's okay. Suitable for people with diabetes. I don't have diabetes, but hey, it's good for them, it's good for me. Check out that shit. Look how ominous that looks. Sorry, I didn't want to get the old lady in there. Alright, now I said I wasn't going to vlog while I drive, but you know what? Screw it. Let's do this. You can see, uh, different areas that we have in Addison, Illinois. I call it Illinois, Illinois, but a lot of people who are not from here will call it Addison, Illinois. I do have a uh, a thing to mount on my car. I just haven't done it yet. So, I'm going to give you a turn around, let you guys can see the full frontal of everything. Look, got some portillos. You guys don't have portillos or know what portillos is? Know it. Find it. This shit is good. We got the police station over there. We got the library over there. And people drive slow as shit around here. But come on. Yeah, look how crazy that looks out there. How dark. But yeah, we got a jewel over there. Oh, did you see the lightning? Oh, did I turn it away? Did not see the lightning? I'm trying to get home before all this like hits. I don't want to be caught in the uh, rain. You can see the little Caesars over there. There's a school to my left. And these lights I take forever. Literally, you see any cars coming? Oh, there we go. So while you're taking in the views, I, you know, a couple things that have been chapping my ass as of late, like, alright, so, as I mentioned, I'm unemployed. I have five people living in my house. I have three kids, me and my wife. Now, for Illinois, I sat there and applied for what's called the link card, and what pisses me off is that, like, we were literally like a hundred dollars over the spending limit. Like they say that five people, you should only spend like thirty, was it thirty six hundred dollars or whatever. And uh, I think that's a bunch of BS, you know. Especially when you got rent. I mean, it's for the month, for the freaking month. Like, how can you sit there and? say that that's enough money for the month for five people kids nonetheless and you only you know it, it pisses me off because it's that's bs and we were over by 100 dollars as far as what income comes in and actually i i think i miscalculated i might have to like redo it all so i'm gonna turn around so you don't see where i live yet because it's like the slums um but yeah, it's like a, it just pisses me off that they feel that that's adequate enough to survive on a month. Now, for most people, yeah, you eat rice, you drink water, you know. But I ain't gonna drink the freaking faucet water out of here because it's like ass. And I'm not gonna sit there and do that. I'm not gonna sit there and struggle with all this bull. So it pisses me off that they do that. Like I want to sit there and seriously go redo it all, and. Hopefully then they'll sit there and give me, you know, what I'm looking for. I need to roll down the windows though. Freaking hot in here. Again, no AC. So, yeah, that, I mean that's pisses me off, basically. 
yeah, I'm very upset with that, and I think it's ridiculous that, you know, good people struggle, and, you know, it's not like I got people, like, ringing my phone for job interviews, even though I'm more than qualified for this stuff that I'm put like, I'm applying to. Like, in the two months I've been unemployed, I have literally, and, I mean, literally, over 200 jobs I've applied to. How many interviews have I gone on? Glad you asked. One. One job interview in two months, over 200 applications applied to. And what sucks too is that these applications are not like, they don't take like two minutes where I just click on a button and apply. These things take for freaking ever because they want to know your firstborn, your lastborn, your blood type, you know. How low are your balls hanging? I mean, they want to know everything about you. And it's so ridiculous that you have to go through, jumping through these hoops just to apply to a job. And then you don't even get a call back, you know. It's like it's like buying dinner for, for a date that you're going on. And you don't even get a reach around, you know. It, it's just freaking, it pisses me off that, you know, that I'm struggling like this and... You know, I'm making things work. You know, I have family who are very, very loving and caring and, you know, doing everything they can to help us out. And um, I thank them for that. Um, I have uh, my wife who's always backing me and the kids, you know, they, they don't really understand a lot right now. But uh, they they obviously do appreciate everything um, that they do have. Uh, except for uh, Jacob Barrell. He, uh... <laughs> We gave him uh, some meat yesterday, and um, he was like, he's on one tet, like, eat. Like, my daughter, she eats. My oldest, he has a dairy allergy, so he doesn't, you know, eat as much. Uh, he has to watch what he eats because of that. Um, my youngest, he eat whatever he wants, but he doesn't like to eat. And he's, like, really bony and everything. I'm happy that he's not, like, fat like me, but, you know... I do want him to at least have some something on his body because uh, he's like a twig. Um, no offense, Jacob Barrow. I do love you. Um, but yeah, I just. It, it sucks, you know. It, I go to, like, every week I'll go to. Uh, and I'm glad there's places like this out there. Uh, they're like food pantries. Uh, that donate, you know, get donations of food from grocery stores and whatnot, and it's, I'm glad that there's places like this as the garbage truck is going through, so excuse the noise. Time to pick up the leftovers. Um, but yeah, these go, pantries, like, they get donations from grocery stores and everything, and, you know, uh, I thank the good Lord that, you know, that they have places like that that do help out with uh, helping me take care of my kids and, you know, putting food on the table and whatnot. And uh, so thank you for the stores, for the donations uh, and helping people like myself with a fam big family that, uh, you know, during hard times, you know, that they appreciate that stuff. And I appreciate that stuff very, very much. So thank you guys. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to make this into some freaking sob story. Oh, I can't sit there. I can't, blah, 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 blah. No, you know what? I, I still deal with it. You know, you get people calling, wanting money, but you know what? Fuck them. You know, I, I'll pay you when I pay you. Um, I do try to pay everybody on time, and I've been pretty good so far, but you still get like. If you're like an hour over your due date, you know, they like call you and like, you owe money. Like Sprint. Sprint's a big player like that. They will sit there and they text me and they call me literally the day after a bill is due. Literally a day after. Xfinity too, Comcast. They call you the day after sitting there and texting you. First you get the text, then you get the call. And it's like one right after the other. And they're want, saying that your your payments passed due. It's like seriously, it's been one flipping day. Take a chill pill and relax. You'll get your money. Ugh. Okay, so yeah, I'm ranting a lot, and uh, I didn't buy the damn Snickers bar. Shit.
I'll have to see if I have anything to munch on at home. Um, I could have gotten a little explicit there, but my wife would kill me. Uh, and I don't want to lose viewerships because, like, her family watches my video. So, apologize to my wife's family and my family who watch my videos and hear me swearing and talking like this. You know, I'm not doing this for the camera. It's just, I'm actually, I'm actually trying to be who I am. And, uh, I do, I am actually very polite when I'm in front of my wife's family. Like, I will, uh, I, I try not to swear, but slowly they're seeing, like, they do see a little side of me come out here and there, like, uh, I am dirty-minded, right, honey? You know that. Um, I like I, I I'm very like I could be like a like a big pervert, and I say like some crazy ass stuff like. Um, but uh, I I am a very nice person, and uh, I know 42 years age. You know I I know I bring up the age thing, and it's it's mainly because you know I. Um, I see all these YouTubers, and they're all young and whatnot, and, like, they're 19, their teens, their 20s. Um, I'm not sure if anybody's in their 30s. I mean, I, I mean, you see, like, they're with their kids on YouTube or whatnot. Um, but I, I'm trying to do this, you know, in my 40s, and, uh, you know, if there's anybody in the... I'm going to reach, throw it out there. If there's anybody who does YouTube who's in the, you know, Chicagoland area and want to collab, let me know. Um... I'm always interested in, like, the paranormal stuff, too. Like, I, I would love to sit there. Because I know there's a ton of paranormal stuff out here in the Chicagoland area. Like, I know, like, Mozart, Omar Gosh TV, G-Team Paranormal. Um, those are, uh, I'm J-Station, all those roles. Kazzy Official, Ali H. Like, I'm naming a bunch of people. Jake Duffner, uh, uh, Mikey Mass. You know, they, they, they dabble in a lot of, like, Ouija board and all that stuff. And those are people I actually watch because... Um, they're enjoyable. I, you know, I, I, I don't care what, like, they put out. I, I enjoy their videos. Um, and you get a lot of people who, like, come, like, call them, try to call them out. But, you know, screw those people. I enjoy the videos. Quit ruining the videos for me. Um, but, yeah, they, uh, there's a lot of paranormal stuff out here in the Illinois area. I mean, you got Al Capone's gravesite. That, I mean, come on. You got Al Capone who lived out here. Uh, I mean... There's so much out here, and that's just, and I know that's, okay, Al Capone, that's, I'm name dropping. Um, I know that probably doesn't mean crap to anybody, but, um, yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff. Like, if you look up, uh, like, haunted areas in Chicago, like, you will get a list, a huge list of stuff out here in the Chicagoland area. So, anybody who's looking to collab, let me know. I'll be more than willing to uh, do it. Just leave a comment and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll try to reach out to each other and uh, I'm going to touch you. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. No, uh, we'll reach out and we'll see what we can do because um, uh, I'm definitely interested in stuff like that, um, especially during, like, the fall time, like, around Halloween. That stuff is also, also pretty cool uh, to do stuff like that. Um, but other than that, uh, it's been real. Um, I think... I am going to start doing daily vlogs. Uh, I know I said I was thinking about doing that before, and I stopped. And <laughs> so I guess it's not daily if I don't do it daily. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in the morning. Um, you know, maybe walk around my build apartment complex, you know, and just vlog. And, you know, it's not going to be super exciting crap, but, you know, it gives me a chance to talk to you guys. You guys get to know me. I get to know you. And hopefully people subscribe, like my stuff, and hit the post notifications. Yeah? Yeah? Huh? Yeah? Can I get some more subscribers? I have nine. Can I at least reach, like, 50? Is that a possibility? And there's thunder. So I'm going to start heading in <laughs> before I get rained on. Because, um, yeah, it's about to get pretty lit over here. Um, but, you know, the help, the help would... I appreciate it if I can get more subscribers, uh, more views. You know, I'm, I'm trying to do whatever I can to do that. Same with my son, Jacob RL. You know, he's huge into YouTube as well. Um, but uh, all we have is, like, this one little camera that I'm using right now. But I love this camera. Seriously, like, barely pay, paid a lot of money for it. And uh, this thing is, like, kick-ass. It has a nice wide-shot angle. Um, and it, it sounds pretty, the quality's pretty good. I, I really like it. Um, I definitely would like to upgrade, and then I could pass this on to my son. 
Um, but it's going to take a while before I do that. You know, I, I want to be able to get a job first and get this car fixed and a lot of other things uh, ahead of that. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with the flow and see what's happening. Um, I appreciate you guys being here, listening to me rant, rave. Um, you know, I will probably be more ranting and raving as I go on. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. This is the start of the daily vlogs. Let's get it going. All right, I will talk to you guys later before I get rained on or pissed on. Um, as you can see, look at the clouds. Can you see them? That's pretty crazy, huh? That's uh, Illinois for you right now. And it's supposed to get hotter, too, so I'm not looking forward to that. All right, I'll talk to you later. I'm going to go see my wife my kids and uh, apply to some jobs. And uh, hopefully someone hires me. Yeah, hopefully. All right, talk to you guys later.